to tonight's recap of the Skating with the Stars finale. Last night they kind of skated, but tonight they're putting this show down mercifully. <laughs> what are you talking Thank about? God. This is a great show. Really? Mm. All right, so the opening number was brought to us by Johnny Weir. In, in a, a cage. cage. <laughs> Why'd they let him out? <laughs> and they said... Uh, Johnny Mosley's song last night was too sexy for Johnny Weir. This is Johnny Weir. This was Touch about. Me, Feel Me, Touch Me. <laughs> All right, um, Lorianne choreographed it. Why is she choreographing an ice show? I don't know. <sighs> All I can say is that I feel bad for Johnny because he can do so much better, but that rink is not big enough for him to do jumps and stuff. I want to see some real, legit Johnny Weir figure skating. He was like Just, a veal I love on him. A, he was like a veal on ice. All right, so the losers return to the ice, except for Brandon, who, who was um, pinned up in the audience. He wasn't even allowed on the ice. They had a little recap, and yes, oh God, we had to endure the Sean Young crotch cam shot, no. not once, but twice. They pulled it out again later on in the show. So they brought back some of the former competitors to perform, and Sean and her partner Dennis were up first. Oh, Grandma, that'll do. That'll do. Oh. <laughs> Vince and Jennifer, well, at least he didn't fall That's a this time. You know what? That's exactly what this show did not have enough of. They advertised falls and thrills and we got none so maybe if he had fallen it would have at least been oh, somewhat exciting that's so mean i'm sorry they didn't deliver johnny and brooke uh that routine was an epic fail he almost dumped her on her face and they almost smashed into the wall it was better the first time much all right i felt bad <laughs> I didn't feel bad at all because I knew the show was going over, going going to be over. That's why the host was so giddy the entire time. He was jumping around like a jack-in-the-box. All right, a ridiculous video package on the competition. Like, there is any competition between Bethany and Rebecca? Are you joking? Real. The only thing I got out of that whole video package was Johnny Weir, girl, why did you do your hair with the mullet weave? Because it's not a good look. Johnny Weir can rock any look. Not that one. Including the Snooky Poof, <laughs> which he was wearing tonight. Well, I noticed that he was wearing a bump it after Bethany's routine, and I thought, girl, <laughs> you are totally channeling Snooky tonight. Snickers. Yeah, okay. all right. Was there a pickle under his bed? <laughs> all right, Bethany and Ethan did their routine first. Sorry, kids, this was stiffer than a corpse. And certainly stiffer than the first time. You I did it. disagree. I think it was better this time. Um, she got a little stiff at the end, but she definitely started off better. She it still... was way better than it was the first time. Yeah, but she still was standing there waiting to be lifted and everything. It was just had no fluidity whatsoever. Technically, a 23. Artistically, a 28. So that ends up to be Whoa. a 51. Highest score she's ever gotten by far. Pity scores. Can you say it along with me? Pity. Well, next up was Rebecca and Fred, and this was a great routine. I have to agree. It was a great routine, despite the little stumble at the end, um, which was minor compared to everybody else's crap. Uh, standing ovation from everyone in probably the whole state of California, except for Bethany, who was guilted into doing a standing ovation when the camera cut to her, and Ethan was like, get up! <laughs> All right. Technically, it was a 30. And artistically, it was a 30. So they Whoa. ended up with a perfect 60. The first one ever. I, I think the whole plan here was to just give her as high a score as possible so that... They, I thought they deserved it. They wouldn't... Well, yeah, that too. But so then they wouldn't have to give the trophy to Bethany no matter how many people voted for her. So somebody's getting an incredibly ugly trophy. It looked like one of those trophies that you would see, like, in a thrift store from, like, the 60s or something. Yeah. I think they do that on purpose. I don't know. They said it was golden skates. Uh, they actually look bronze to me. Sorry. So the winners, as we said, Rebecca and Fred. Did we say that? Well, to ensure when I said the... Okay, so <laughs> Rebecca and Fred won. Thank God, because... 
They really deserved it. They and did. it really, it would have been as criminal as last night when they cut Johnny Mosley if she didn't win. So, I need somebody to please tell me in the comments what was up with the two chicks <laughs> in the audience that they showed at the very last second with the white shades on. Because one of them was totally <laughs> like this. If you still have it on your DVR, go to the very last minute and check out the two chicks in the it's audience. Funny. The blonde, yes. All right, kids, that was a great season. At least it's over. All right, yeah, see, Maddie's terribly bored. I'm tired. And bored. Till next time, much, much love. love.